everyone, Kristen Bradley here, kindness keys and everything between. So today's educational video is about the different status terms that you might see when you're looking at homes or your agent might say when they're looking at the MLS. So you have an active status, which means the home is currently available and you can go look at it and make offers on the home. That doesn't mean that there might be working a contract in the background or might have accepted one right when you put in your offer in, but at that time when you're looking at the home, it is available and you can put in a contract if you would like. Pending and under contract are really the same thing. It just means that they have a pending contract. So they the seller has accepted a buyer's offer and they're going through some part of the process. That's probably the inspection period. Then you have like your appraisal and your survey and all those type of periods. So something can still happen and the home may come back as active or and you may be available to put in a contract on it but the goal at the time where you see pending or under contract is that home is going to close with that buyer it's intention to do that then you have obviously sold that means the property sold for whatever happened it sold whether it was financing cash investor bought it, or a retail buyer it's sold and it may come back if it was an investor or it may just be someone's forever home foreclosed um, obviously that's kind of like something with the bank so you have your foreclosure period you have like an so the bank realize you're not making payments they send you a letter obviously trying to make sure that you guys they can make everything good if they can't and then they can't do a short sale and all those type of things they foreclose on the property that doesn't mean that us we can just go and show you that property right away there's a little bit of process that takes place before they actually put that back onto the market as a bank owned property sometimes you can get to them um, right when they foreclose on the property and if there's different ways you can try to get that property before they actually put it back on the market as a bank owned property which probably most of the time needs a lot of work so different ways around that but in pre foreclosure is kind of like you'll see that a lot on Zillow is where they think it looks like based on records that the bank has sent a letter notifying the homeowners that if they don't make right the bank is going to foreclose on the property and usually that's good for investors or someone paying in cash um, even if you're a retail buyer but you have cash and you may be looking at a certain neighborhood and you see a pre foreclosure someone that's in that circumstance they may be willing to sell it to you or do work something out with you so they can make it right with the bank and then you can close on that property different ways around that but those are some of the terms that you'll be able to see um, as a retail and cash buyer they're all pretty much the same and they all can work for you 813-304-5308